The web has become a high-performance, general-purpose computing platform used by billions of people all across the globe. And the web's growth has accelerated in the last year. Now, Chrome's innovated with the browser sandbox model from its earliest days. We're taking this same approach with user data and tracking, building a sort of privacy sandbox that seeks to keep all of your information safe and secure within your browser. With the new App Shortcuts feature, web apps can expose quick actions. And with the badging API, web apps can give the user a subtle prompt that there's an opportunity to re-engage. Soon, we'll be shipping a Chrome origin trial experiment of another new API, declarative link capturing, that enables installed web apps to launch automatically when the user clicks on an appropriate link. Now, web apps can finally read and write to the user's local file system using the File System Access API. The web also now supports serial ports with the Web Serial API. This actually unlocks one of my favorite new use cases, Piper Make. It's a block-based editor that allows you to program a Raspberry Pi Pico. We recently gave WebAssembly a major performance boost by implementing support for SIMD processor instructions in V8. Google Meet provides a powerful example of SIMD in action. Like any video conferencing app, Meet has to pay careful attention to their performance budget. And there's a constant tension between processing the video in order to enhance it and maintaining a smooth, low latency stream. Using V8's experimental origin trial of SIMD, the Meet team achieved a 200% performance gain. One fun, simple feature with a big impact is scroll to text, added to Chrome 80 in February of last year. With the new document transition APIs that are coming to Chrome soon as experiments, we're also building in support for a number of graphical transitions between elements. We're also working to make security more seamless on the web. And one feature I'm particularly excited about is cross-device one-time passwords for the web. Now, this feature enables you to receive one of these one-time passwords on your Android phone and then have that automatically transferred to your Chrome browser running on some other device, like a laptop. Sites across the web are using Core Web Vitals as a north star for performance and are reporting encouraging results. For example, the Italian publisher, Jedi, saw an 8% improvement in the bounce rate on their mobile article pages. Google Search has also announced that Core Web Vitals will soon be a part of how pages are ranked in search results. We think this is particularly exciting as it magnifies the benefit of Core Web Vitals to you, the developer. The investment will not only give your users a better experience, but it will help them find your site through search. Now, one of Chrome's most popular features is its suite of built-in developer tools. Over the past year, we've enhanced DevTools with a bevy of new improvements, ranging from a new color picker, improved warnings and linting of PWAs, a Core Web Vitals overlay, dedicated CSS Flexbox debugging, dropped frame visualization, support for CSS and JavaScript, and much more. Hey, there's a lot more great talks and web sessions from Google I.O. Go ahead and check them out. They are a lot of fun, much more so than just looking at me. I'll be here when you get back. Maybe 